The excretory organs of an earthworm are coiled tubules called nephridia, which are arranged segment-wise and open into the intestine. Septal nephridia. Septal nephridia are located on either side of the intersegmental septa from segment 15 onwards. Pharyngeal nephridia. Pharyngeal nephridia are present in the fourth, fifth, and sixth segments as paired tufts. Integumentary nephridia are found attached to the lining of the body wall from segment three to the last segment. Integumentary nephridia open on the surface of the body. This kind of excretion is called exonephric excretion. The septal and pharyngeal nephridia empty their waste into the supraintestinal excretory ducts. The excretory fluid is then discharged into the intestine. This mode of excretion is termed as enteronephric excretion. Long coiled tubules filtering the blood, collecting nitrogenous waste and releasing them outside the body through an excretory pore. Well, the excretory system of these tiny earthworms is more sophisticated than you can imagine. The excretory organs of an earthworm are coiled tubules called nephridia. Septal nephridia are located on either side of the intersegmental septa from segment 15 onwards. Pharyngeal nephridia are present in the fourth, fifth and sixth segments as paired tufts. Integumentary nephridia are found attached to the lining of the body wall from segment 3 to the last segment and open on the surface of the body. This is called exonephric excretion. The septal and the pharyngeal nephridia empty their waste into the supraintestinal excretory ducts, which is then discharged into the intestine and is called enteronephric excretion.